it's ready. So let's go now. Okay. 5.32 seconds. It could just be me, but that was not 5.32 seconds. Alrighty, so this video is going to be a little different from the rest of ours. Now, I'm sitting in a Mach E GT performance right now. And originally, we were going to do a video testing the 0-60 to 60 time of this car using a GPS timer with the phones. And then, when we were doing it, we realized something. That phone GPS timers suck compared to normal ones. So, normal ones being something like a V-Box or a Draggy or something you'd plug into the OBD2 port, or something that is way better when it comes to connecting to GPS than a phone app. So the rated time from Ford is 3.8 seconds to 60 for this car. Now, how true that is to life, I'm not gonna be able to tell you because the app is absolutely awful. Now we've tried one, the first one being race timer, and the second one being this timer right here. Now, these both use GPS tracking to track where the car is in one spot and where the track, where it is in the next spot, and it measures your speed along that amount of stretch of road and, you know, uses GPS to find your speed and everything like that. And there are other more expensive options like a draggy will use your GPS as well. But I've also seen a lot of draggy, um, draggy zero to 60 times and everything like that that work a lot better than these do. Now we do have one of these boxes on order that plug into the OBD2 port and also use GPS to track everything. So when we do end up getting that, I'm going to compare that to one of these apps. And this one right here that we mainly used for this run is called Race Stats. And honestly, it's not that good because we were also using the other Race Timer one. And at first I ran it and I got a 3.9, which was believable. And before that I got like a 4.2, which is believable because that's within, you know, half a second of the claimed zero to 60 time, which is usually what these electric cars can do. And you can't screw up launching an electric car. You put your foot down, there's no gears, there's no, you don't have anything to screw up, you're in the power band consistently. So there's literally no way to screw up launching one of these cars. So for our first run, I'm gonna play it right now. <laughs> Yeah, it just falls flat on its face. <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> it said we did zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds, but then said we did it in 121 feet. That's not 5.1 seconds. check 5.3 seconds from 0 to 60 miles an hour they are vastly different from what that was so the speedometer in the car is not going to lie nor is the fact that i'm literally going frame by frame by frame to tell you how much time it was between zero miles an hour and 60 miles an hour especially because the maki -E tracks every mile per hour you go up so my one issue with this is that these are free apps which is a good thing, but when you take into account that the actual zero to 60 timers, the high quality ones that most content creators use are between $150 to $500 for something like a V-Box, then you kind of start to see, well, why are these free apps free? Well, they're free because they suck. So the honest truth is, is if you're out there and you are telling everybody that you're running a certain time, like let's say you're sitting, going out there and saying your Mustang or Challenger runs threes with stock 235 tires on the Mustang and you're using one of these apps, you're wrong and no one should ever believe you because these apps absolutely suck. So the only app I would trust is if you had the Draggy app on here and it was connected to the actual massive GPS tracker that you set down in your car, not the phone's GPS tracker. There's a reason these are free guys because they absolutely suck because people have gotten way faster in a Mustang EcoBoost than that. And if someone is telling me a Mustang EcoBoost with some bolt-ons is faster than a Mach-E GT Performance, then don't buy a Mach-E GT Performance, just buy an EcoBoost 
and throw some bolt-ons on it because if this is true, this car is a waste of money. But if this is not, and we're going to find out whether it is or not, then, you know, don't use these apps to track your car's times because these are absolutely terrible. Anyways, guys, if you like this video and you found it enlightening and it found it informative and you found that you shouldn't use these or you're basically going to get a screwy time that's going to make you feel bad about your car, then, you know, like the video down below and subscribe. And if you use these apps to find your times for your 0 to 60s and your quarter miles, then stop telling people what your 0 to 60 and quarter mile times are because that's, they're not right. And I'll see you all in the next video.